Hi everybody, Scott Davenport here with a quick tip for you on the vignette filter in On One Effects. I finish off a lot of my photos with the vignette and I like using the vignette filter because it gives me total control over the shape, the position, and the, the feathering, everything about the vignette so I can really fine tune it to each image. So this image here, uh, I've got this you know, one sole hiker uh, slash photographer that's out here and I want to just subtly add uh, a little more draw toward this subject and I want to use a vignette to do that. So I've added the vignette to the filter stack for the add filter here and you start off with the subtle preset that's the default and you know, these other presets that are here those are good and you can get different looks on them and they adjust the sliders accordingly and there's several more in the pull down. But what I like to do is just take total control and work the sliders myself. So I want to really accentuate and draw the eye toward this lone person there. So how I approach the vignette, I take the feather all the way down to zero and I take the brightness all the way down to negative 100. So now I can see a very crisp, clean edge of where the vignette is going to affect the photo. Uh, for this one, I almost want to do a spotlight. So I'm going to take my size and bring it down. I take the roundness and make this much rounder too, you know, almost like a circle, something like that, and really bring the size all the way in, nice and small. Now, something that's really nice is this crosshairs tool where you can set the center of the vignette. So I'm going to click on that and then just click right on my person there. Beautiful. From here, now I've got the vignette positioned. I'm happy with the size and where it's going to affect things. And now I go back to playing with the sliders. I'll bring the feather all the way up because I like to have a very nice gradual fade. This is looking a little dark, so now I'll adjust brightness and start bringing that back up until I get something that I like. And there are occasions where, you know, I'll get to the brightness here and go, you know, um, I like the brightness, but I'm not sure of the overall effect. I have the opacity slider on the filter as well. Something else to play with, which is, you know, kind of an additional way to control the brightness and you know, the, the overall blending of this vignette with the photo. And, uh, you know, something like that's looking pretty good. You know, so here's before that vignette and here's after. Subtle touch, but it is drawing our eyes toward here. So the next time you're adding a vignette, don't be afraid about diving in and playing with those sliders.